744 now new on Daybreak. Postpartum depression is on the rise. Mental health experts say cases are soaring among new parents during the pandemic. News 8's Hannah Bordeaux is live with today's inside story. New parents have long faced the issue, of course, Hannah, even before the health crisis. Yeah, health experts say pre-pandemic, one in five to seven women and one in 10 men suffered from postpartum depression. It can happen anytime during pregnancy or within that first year after giving birth. And while the stats are still coming in now, those numbers are only going up. When Hannah Johnson picks up baby Duke, they're both all smiles. You're so sweet. But for this Fisher's family, smiling wasn't always easy. The last year and a half has been, has been rough. Duke and his twin brother Atlas were born at 26 weeks old in January of 2020. Then Atlas passed away days before the pandemic started. You're going through the pandemic and you have a baby and the baby's in the NICU. Like, it's stressful. Stress, Hannah says, became PTSD. From just like my phone ringing, like I'm like, is it the hospital? Like, it was very hard for me. According to a recent study from Harvard, postpartum depression drastically increased during the pandemic. Of almost 7,000 participants, 31% reported anxiety and depression, 53% reported loneliness, and 43% had PTSD related to COVID-19. It was isolation with having a baby without a pandemic. Bertie Gunyan Meyer is a retired Indianapolis nurse and works with Postpartum Support International. With the pandemic, even more isolated. She saw the increase firsthand. Be before the pandemic, we had four virtual support groups a week for perinatal mood disorders. We now have 22 a week. She says it's not just moms who are suffering. Pre-pandemic, on average, 21% of women and 10% of men suffer some sort of perinatal mood disorders. It can be during pregnancy or any time in the first year postpartum. And it can be depression or anxiety or OCD with intrusive thoughts or PTSD with a traumatic birth. In women, it can look like crying, eating or sleeping disturbances, anxiety, constant worrying or irritability. In men, it tends to be irritability too, anger or avoidance paired with a sense of losing their partner. They look different and feel different during pregnancy and the postpartum period because now a fragile human being is involved. Parents feel isolated, especially now, but you don't have to face this alone. You're not alone, you're not to blame, and with the proper help, you will get better. She says therapy, support groups, and medication can make the difference. Sleepy boy. And find Hi. the light. Good morning. Even in the darkest days. We can see those normal things re starting back up, and it does give us hope. And if you or a loved one is suffering from postpartum depression, there are free ways to get help here in Indiana. You can call or text Postpartum Support International at 800-944-4773. Now coming up tomorrow, the pandemic has increased the need for both diapers and breast milk for babies here in Indiana. So we're going to highlight two local groups and how they're helping. Live in Indianapolis, Hannah Mordeaux, WishTV, wishtv.com.